Now there's a number of different ways that we can actually save in Excel. And the first one is by simply going to file and then hitting save. Now, the other way we can do this is on our keyboard by hitting control and S just like this, and that will save the workbook. However, there is actually another way that we can do this, which is by adding a VBA. So we need to make sure that our file firstly is an Excel macros enabled saved file. So if we go to file down here and we go to save as, just make sure that says Excel macro enabled workbook. And if not, make sure to change that. So all we're going to do is hit right click on sheet one, go to view code, and we're going to change this from general to worksheet. And then we're going to type in active workbook.save. Okay, and then we're going to minimize this. Now every change that we make on this spreadsheet is going to be automatically saved. So let's just go ahead and make a change here. There we go, and that's been saved.